Welcome back to News 3 Today. Its mission is to deliver world-class music for free to a large and diverse listening audience. Next week, the Savannah Jazz Association and the City of Savannah will kick off the 42nd Savannah Jazz Festival. Paula Fogarty is the executive director of the Savannah Jazz Association, and she joins us now with more. You are all over the place, and for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Kim. Well, thank you for having me back, and thank you to WSAV for your continued support of the annual Savannah Jazz Festival. Well, this is such a great event and such a big event and an aggressive schedule this year, bigger and better than ever before. Yeah, that's right. We are spending more on the quality and caliber of musicians this year than we have in 42 festivals. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're very excited about that. And we've got a great mix of everything from straight ahead jazz to blues and a lot of Latin jazz this year and some cousins of jazz, some Zydeco music. So it's all very upbeat and um, very, very positive, and we're expecting our largest in-person crowds uh, than ever in, in Forsyth Park. We have the free shows in Forsyth Park on Friday and Saturday, the 22nd and 23rd, so there's 17 free shows in the park. But leading up to that, we have four ticketed events. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned the park. You're expecting more than 40,000 people there during this event. That's correct, over the two days, yes. Wow, wow. Yep. Now, something that folks are looking forward to, Ranky Tanky. Now, they were a part of the festival two years ago, but that wasn't in person. No, that's when WSAV did that amazing live streaming job for us yes. globally, reaching 170,000 people around the world. And so they were there uh, with us, but now is the opportunity for everyone to see Ranky Tanky live Thursday, the 21st, at the Lucas Theater at 7 p.m. They just won their second Grammy Award. Yes. They are, for people who don't know, they are now low country music royalty. They're out of Charleston and they play a Gullah Geechee based jazz, wow. which is the root of all of the great Savannah jazz sound. Now, we, you were talking about diversity and we were talking a little bit about this during the break, but this year you have more women than ever before as a, being a part of the festival. That's correct. We've got a blues opener, E.G. Kite, with, with her band. We've got an, uh, Mylena Casado, who is an up and coming, a super rising star in jazz on the main stage. And of course, Kiana Parler, who is the vocalist fronting Ranky Tanky. And then we have an all female band, J Jane Bennett and Makeke. That's a six. They a were here before. Right. They, yes. They've been here a few years, 2018, I believe. Yeah. And you introduced I them. I did introduce That's them. That's right. why I you remember did. that. That's right. Now let's talk about Monday because Monday is the big kickoff with a documentary that I really want to see. <laughs> I know. You just get up too early yes, in the morning. I, <laughs> I know. We are starting it off with a tribute to Miles Davis. Yes. So we are screening the documentary of Miles Davis, The Birth of the Cool, by award winning director Stanley Nelson, who will be with us for a Q&A with the audience afterwards, joined by Miles Davis's nephew and his son, who are the co-producers of the film. So for the Miles Davis fans out there, don't miss Monday night. That would be me. I know, <laughs> me too. I may not be here Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. And so. our tickets are really affordable to that. That's a $14 uh, movie. Yeah. And so we're keeping all of our ticketed events really affordable in the spirit of keeping great music accessible to all people. And this money goes towards a great cause though. That's right. It helps fund all of our, our free concerts and uh, the Savannah Jazz History and Hall of Fame exhibit and our educational scholarships and everything we do. And, and that's the future of jazz really with the young people and you really get them involved with this. That's right. We end, we end with school band day with four school bands at the JW Marriott's district live venue on Sunday the 24th. So after church and after brunch, come enjoy an afternoon of the rising stars, the future of jazz. All right, Paula Fogarty, thank you so much for joining us. And there's the information on your screen. The Savannah Jazz Festival kicks off September 18th through the 24th. Go to savannahjazz.org for all of the information. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Kim. Stay See with, you there. See you there. Stay with us. We'll be right back.